The Collection Log. In the previous episode of Generate Task, we started off completing the My Notes page on the log with the final two ancient pages. We then went on a clue streak, first getting a hard clue unique to finish off a task of five new uniques. We then got a master clue unique and another master clue unique task right afterwards on which we also passively completed Sirachnis with the Jar of Eyes. We finished the episode with the first two items from Tombs of a Mascot being the Jewel of the Sun and the Threat of Elidnis, which caught us up on the hard tier tasks progress. Today we are starting things with the second elite diary on the account being the Western Provinces diary. Okay, so there's actually only four tasks remaining here that I have to do for the Western Provinces Elite Diary. One of them is Pickpocket and Elf, which is 85 thieving. I'm 84 with 11k XP to go. So I guess I may as well just get that level real quick and do that. Uh, we can already do this one and we can already do this one as well. And then it's only Fletch a Magic Longbow into Ronwin, which is 85 Fletching. Now, right now I'm 81 Fletching, but I know that I'll need more Fletching anyways for the Desert Diary, I believe, because that one is very high Fletching requirement. That one requires 95. So I may as well grind out this 85 for the Western provinces diary and that way we're already on our way to the 95 we'll need eventually so the grind for this task is mainly going to be four fletching levels and then we're good to go okay something i really want to do again is go and check on my throne of miscellanea because i feel like it's been a while again and i can probably get a decent amount of bird eggs once again and see if we get lucky for some evil chicken fees so let's go do that real quick as well all right here we go let's collect our resources. Wait, let me check the allocation for... I think this is right. Yeah, this looks about right. Uh, also, let me deposit this to max again. There we go. Put that back to 7.5 mil. Now let's collect our resources. How many bur... Eight. I mean, eight is all right. That's not bad. A lot of nests in total, which is nice because I ran out of brews as well on that TOA grind. So we'll be making more of those. 30,000 maple locks and 5,000 teak locks. Not too shabby at all. Let's go and use those bird eggs and let's see if we get lucky today. All right, here goes nothing. No peace just yet. 31 offerings now. Right now, for the fletching training, there's not really many options I have right now. There's a few supplies I have left in the bank, but they don't really amount too much if I were to use all of them, like these unfinished darts or arrow tips. It's only like, I don't even know, like less than 100k XP, I think. The main bulk of XP is going to come from cutting these maple and yew logs, I reckon. Um, I could also go and buy broad arrow supplies. But that's not gonna save too much time and it's gonna be more annoying to train up with making broad arrows all the way, you know? So we're just gonna be AFKing some maple longbow use for the majority of the four fletching levels we have to get. Okay, never mind. After careful consideration and calculations, as you can see in the in the clan chat, I've come to realize that making arrows is two tick action and Cutting bows is 3 tick action, so it, it definitely saves a lot more time than I originally anticipated if I do broad arrows, so I'm just gonna go and buy some supplies to make broad arrows and then we're gonna do that instead. Alright, just finished buying all of these supplies, look at that, the white stack of arrow shafts, feathers and broad arrowheads. Now it's time to start fletching all of them. All right, step one complete. We've made the headless arrows. We are halfway done with fletching. I think that took about three hours, I wanna say. I'm, I'm not too sure. But now we're just gonna make the broad arrows and now the XP is gonna start rolling in. 82 fletching. 83 fletching. Level 84. All right, here we go. We've made it to the promised land. 85 fletching has been achieved and we can now make magic longbows. Now all that's left for us to do is get the 11,000 thieving XP for level 85 there and then we can do all the steps for the diary instantly. So let's go get that thieving XP real quick as well. There we go, that's the thieving done as well. We can now pickpocket from elves. So let's go do the diary tasks and let's get this task completed real quick. All right, first task, plant a magic tree, pay Prissy Scylla to protect it, and that's the task right there. I hope this counts as Tyronwyn, but I assume it will, right? Make a magic longbow. 
There we go, nice. Let's pickpocket an elf as well. There we go, that's another task done. And now we only have one task remaining and that is using the agility shortcut. So let's go do that and we're done. Here we go, I think this is the short. I hope this is the shortcut. Do I, I did it, let's go, let's go. Let's go to the elder gnome child and let's complete the diary. All right, what do we get from this? Western banner upgrade, antique lamp, of course. And uh, now we always get two chompy birds and they have a chance of dropping the pet, which is also an elite task. So if we get the task to get the chompy pet, we can actually get it now. So that's that's nice, I suppose. Uh, see, blah, blah, blah. Rents will provide you free. Yeah, that's useless. And the banner will teleport you to Piscatoris as much as you desire. So there we go. Lovely. And we get the Zolra Resurrect as well. Let's use the lamp on Herbal or as per usual. That is 50,000 XP right there. We'll take it. And now let's see what the next task will be. Maybe another diary. Second diary of the Elite are completed. And there we go. Many more to come. I, w I just want to get another raid task. And to be fair, I'll probably do some more TOA if that's the case. Because even though I want to get the decks very badly from Chambers, I just want to do more TOA, man. Fuck! <laughs> I mean, easy clues. It's fine. This is fine. Alright, got my first five casket. Let's just see if we get lucky straight away, shall we? Flare trousers, duplicate. I mean, I'll take it, I suppose. That's pretty cool. Other than that, nothing to report on whatsoever. 550 total easy clues now as well. Alright, just woke up. Yesterday I collected 10 caskets before going to bed. So let's open these first. Let's see what we get. One dupe. There's a new one. There's the first one already. Sarah and rope top. Number one out of five. Let's go. Another duplicate. And last but not least, absolute junk. All right. One out of five. Four to go. Another ten caskets at the ready. Let's get another unique. Duplicate one. Duplicate two. Duplicate three. Duplicate four. And that's all she wrote for that one. Ten caskets right before the system update is about to hit. Oh, it's looking terrible. It's- Oh my god, what is this? This was nothing, not even a duplicate. Jesus Christ. Ten new ones in Ned's house this time around, next to the fireplace. Nice and cozy. These are just getting worse and worse. I don't know what's up with that, but... What was this? Okay. Okay, this task so far has been absolutely terrible as far as uniques go. One unique and 45 caskets, so I think it's time to turn that around. Yes, okay, number two, bronze full Helmji. We have five caskets left. Can we get number three as well? Yes, another one. Okay, Zemrek Roblex, lovely. Two more uniques. That's what we like to see. That's more like it. Two to go. Let's get another two, just like last time and finish the task right here, right now. That would be lovely. The streak does not continue, unfortunate. Time for another 10. Pain. <laughs> Let's go, 10 new caskets, and yet I just got the Osmumt and Sfang, so that means we're gonna get lucky as well. There it is, Iron Playbody trimmed, just one more item. Let's get it. Let's finish the task right here, right now. Yes, steel plate legs. Let's go. Let's open the other two as well. Another sleeping cap. And there we go. That is 85 easy clues for the five uniques. And something to mention as well, we didn't get a single master clue this task, so that's a bit unfortunate, but I guess I'll take it. I don't mind whatsoever. We are done and we can move on to the next task. Let's see if we get back to raiding already. Anyways, let's take a quick look at the log. Five new items is always nice with the clue tasks. 937 in total now. 95 easy uniques in 630 easy clues. Next time we'll get to 100 total uniques. Pretty happy with how that task went. I mean, I, I grinded out pretty heavily. I, I completed in less than a day, even though I did complete a lot of easy clues for it. But there we go. We can move on to the next one. 43% elite once again. Uh, you know, we, we dropped to 42% after adding the raids task. So let's see if we get one of those now. And it's gonna be more clues. Five new uniques from hard clues this time around, at least. We might get a master clue in there as well. We'll see what happens. All right, time to gear up for another jellies slaughter, I suppose. We are currently at 85 hard clue uniques in 340 hard clues completed. So we'll probably get some Scatizo kills in there as well. So that'll be lovely. I have a clue step that 
I don't have a requirement for yet from Hard Clues, which I didn't even know I still had. But uh, I need to go to Ubisk, which requires me to do Land of the Goblins. So we are going to start with a quest today. Here we go. Was that it? Was that the end of the quest? Yay! Land of the Goblins completed. A little bit of XP, two quest points, and 12 quests left uh, before we get a quest game. Anyways, quest done. Let's go grab our clue. Let's continue. We have collected our first five hard clue caskets from Jellies. And it's time to see if we get a unique straight away. We need five, so let's get five in one go. There's a new item already! The ancient dehyde body on clue number three. That's nothing, and that is also a duplicate right there. Not too shabby. At least we get one. Nice, dark totem top. That means another Scotizo kill is ready for us. But let's get a clue first. Give me ass. How about you give me some new uniques from these five caskets? That is a lot worse than the first five we opened, unfortunately. Damn. Time to make up for the unique we didn't get in the last five. Yeah, room play. I didn't even realize. Like, I was staring at this clue. I heard my own voice and I was like, wait, what's the unique? But it's the room play, like, trimmed. There's what. There's another one. Armadillo Bracers as well. Can we make it a triple? Is it a hat trick? No, that's too much to ask for. That, that's two new uniques. We'll take it. Two more to go. That's a lot of rune as well. Nice. Can we finish the task right here, right now with these next five? Just two more items to go. 15 clues in. On to the next five. Oh! Oh my god, the double! With the dehyde shield as well. Yes! Ceradome and Crozier and Ceradome and Dehyde Shield. Oh my god, what a cast. You know what, I'm just gonna open the, the last one as well. May as well. Nothing there at all, but the double unique in 20 clues. We are done with the task. The Dehyde Shield is always nice to get as well, because that is pretty rare. Once again, 20 more hard clues and no master clue obtained from the caskets, which is a bit of a shame, but... I'll take it. I'm happy that I'm done with another task. And that puts us right up to 943 total items on the collection log. Very nice. Creeping up to 950 and we're ready for the next task. Another clue task done. And I'll be honest, I would love to do something else again other than clues. But many more to come. So let's find out what's next. Oh, yes. One new unique from raids! You know what I said last time? It would be best for me to do chambers right now to try and get the dexterous prayer scroll. But I want to do more tombs of a mascot because it's just, you know, it still recently came out. And I want to do new content for a change when I have the chance to. So I think I'm going back to TOA to probably get one of the more common uniques there as well. So this is probably the, the fastest way to complete the task, which also makes sense. But, you know, there's always a small chance that we do get a purple and maybe we'll get something really cool. We're ready to jump back into the tomb. Nine completions, thread, yellow gem. Most likely to get the cache of runes still, but who knows, we might get another gem or a purple. Let's find out. 10kc, first kill after a few changes they've done, and it's wide. Do we get the cache of runes straight away? No, but we do get an elite clue, actually. I'm gonna put that one straight in Watson, because I don't need to get any more elite clue uniques in the, in the elite tier, but I do need a lot more master clue uniques. So we're just gonna store that there, so we already have a master clue at the ready. Another elite clue, though. In four raids, we've had two elite clues. Oh my god, wow. That's... that's good. This is a good casket, Jesus Christ. That's about as good as you can get without being a, a unique, I think. Nice. I am gonna quickly grab an easy and a medium clue, so I can turn those in for a master clue, and then I can store this elite as well. So that's pretty nice. So I've just come to learn that I can actually unlock a teleport here with these scepters, so we're definitely gonna do that. Do I just use it on the obelisk? There we go, and now we can teleport to Jaltevas, and we arrive here, so I don't have to use the fair ring anymore down there. So that's pretty nice. A little closer to the raid. Another elite! What?! That is three elite clues in seven tombs of a mascot 150. What? Okay, I guess that means that I'll go and try to uh, complete the master clue I have. So I can then turn in more clues to once again have a master so I can also store this elite. <laughs> that would be ideal. 
Okay, I'm gonna try something wild here, which might not be a good idea, but I increased my invocation from 150 to 205. I've added some invocations. We'll see how it goes. I might just end up dying, but I just want to try, you know, challenging myself a bit more. So we'll see how this goes. Nice. Okay, overall, pretty happy with that raid. The only part that I was taking a lot of damage was at Akka because I enabled the, um, the faster Simon Says thing and I wasn't really prepared for it. I wasn't really, you know... I wasn't aware of the timing too well, but uh, I managed to pull through. Still have, you know, three of my own brews left that I brought in and plenty of other supplies as well. So not too bad. 35 minutes there under the 40 minute limit that I put for myself. Level 205 completed first try. I'm happy with that. Do we get rewarded? No, we do not. Unless there's something in the normal chest, we might still get our new gem or cache of runes or the pet or whatever this is. Four magic seeds and some sapphires. Yeah. Okay, that one, that one was a bit too close for comfort, I'm not gonna lie, I was getting it close there a couple of times, but we still got it, and I think even faster than last time, so uh, I guess I'll take it, 34 minutes on the 205, still nothing, still nothing, shit, okay, I got, I died because of, uh, what's it called? Optical illusion, okay? I thought I was standing behind a rock at, at Zebek, but then it turned out I was standing in between two, so I died okay it's fine ha happens mistakes happen okay it's it's fine still nothing that's a lot of gems and dragon medals again i'm kind of surprised that i still haven't seen a single cache of runes by 20 kill count in total but i guess that's okay you know i'd much rather do some more raids get a better chance at the purple than just you know getting the cache of runes and being done for now all right, even better time, sub 31. I feel like I can definitely squeeze in a sub 30 eventually on this invocation level, which is quite nice. I'm, I'm liking the improvements here and there. We're getting better at the game and that's what we love to see. And there it is, the cache of runes as expected <laughs> alongside a duplicate thread of Elidness. I guess I will take it. That is our task done. But who knows, you know, there's plenty of raid tasks left and we might even get them back to back. But there is the cache of runes with a duplicate thread, which I'm not sure if I can even use that for anything or if that's just gonna look pretty in the bank or whatever. Whew, nice, we are done. Let's move on to the next one. 21 total KC, 12 KC on this task. And we have some KC on the level 205, which I'm pretty happy with. Maybe next time we can even up the level a bit more or we'll just continue at level 205 and go for a faster time. Oh, and of course I forgot to open it, but we got 2,250 blood runes from it, which is pretty good because we are running low on, well, not necessarily blood runes. We're running low on water and death, but we'll take the blood runes. Blood runes are nice. Let's see what the next task is going to be. All right, with that one done, we still have 12 more raids tasks in the elite tier. So, you know, definitely a high chance that we get another one right away, but who knows? Let's see what it'll be. Oh, it's another diary, the Feldor Elite Diary. I'm not even sure what I am missing for this one, but I guess we'll find out very, very soon. Uh, at least this one is not one of the ones that requires a very high rune crafting level. At least I don't think so. Uh, so we're good on that. But yeah, again, I'm not sure. So let's find out what the grind is for this diary. So let's have a quick look. Feldor Elite Diary. What are we... M so remember... <laughs> Remember when I said at least it's not one of the ones that require- Yeah, I was wrong. 88 room crafting. Shit. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess that means we are gonna do some Guardians of the Rift to train our room crafting. Uh, I'll probably get to 83 and then boost plus 5. So we- Oh man, that's a lot of- Oh, Jesus Christ. Anyways, yeah, uh, okay, so we do need to do a lot of runecrafting. Damn, we need to purchase a white two-handed sword, which I assume I can already do because I already unlocked the white. Actually, we might have to get more black knight kills for this one as well, uh, but we already got quite a few because we already unlocked the white plate body and plate legs. Uh, we do have the farming and woodcutting level for this if we boost, so I will probably do that. I can mix a Sarah Brew and I can perform a skill cape emote at the top of the Feldor Castle. So I guess the main grind is going to be the 88 room crafting. Um, yeah, that's a that's a pretty big one. But at least it's not the Karamja Diary, which requires 91, I believe. So at least we'll get closer to that already.
Oh, hold the phone. I'm getting intel from the clan here that apparently you can use the Guardians of the Rift outfit to complete this task at a lower level. So I'm definitely going to try that out and see if I can do that because that would save a lot of time right now, I suppose. All right, moment of truth. I've got my three outfit pieces on. I'm at the air altar. Oh my god, it actually works. I can't believe it. That's amazing. We, we actually finished the elite task just like that. Oh my god. Well, that makes things a lot more easy. Anyways, I need to get like 400 more Black Knight kills for the white two-handed sword. And I guess I'll go and boost to... Um, you know, get the plant, plant, blah, blah, blah. I'll first have to plant the magic tree and then I'll have to boost to also find the three magic roots. So I'll go and get that one growing and then I'll do the other steps as well. Quick little bird's egg in between. Never lucky. Mix a syrup brew in the east bank. That's done. And let's also do the skill cape emote. Skill cape emote. There we go. Now all that's left for us to do is kill the white knights and then also wait for my magic tree to grow, which I just planted. And then we're good to go. Also, if I said kill the white knights, I meant kill the black knights. Because, yeah, you get the white knight ranking from killing the black knight. I got it twisted. That being said, the unfortunate thing is that I only have 200 cannonballs left in my bank, which, you know, it's pretty much nothing. So I don't think I'll be using them. Anyways, because they, they would be gone in no time. I'm just gonna kill the knights. I only need to kill 400 So it's fine if I just have to kill them without a cannon, I guess The very last black knight to be killed right here. This one is gonna be number 1200 and we should be able to buy ourselves a white two-handed sword now So let's go and grab it. Let's also do the other task on the magic tree and we'll be done. Yes, here we go Let's get ourselves a it's 1300, it's not 1200. Okay, I can explain. Look, the wiki, the wiki s says you need a white knight ranking of 1300 to obtain this sword, blah, blah, blah. But then it says, so only 1200 black knights need to be killed. And I just, you know, I skimmed through it and I only read that part. I only read 1200 black knights need to be killed. And I didn't read anything else, so okay, we have to go back for another 100. Whatever, I'll go and do the magic tree step first. I, I got the thing. Eat the pie, dig up the stump. We did it, let's go! Woo! All right, nice. That was only four locks, thank God. That could have been much worse. <laughs> All right, let's go get those final 100 kills now. Okay, so now this should be the last one for real though. Now, yes, we are now a white knight master. We have defended all the e-girls and we can finally claim our two-handed swords to show the proof. Here we go. There we go. Now we can purchase it. And there's the elite task completed. Let's go claim our reward. I don't need the two-hand though, but it looks kind of cool. I like the white items. Anyways, I'm gonna drop it. All right, Sir Rebro, give me my reward. There we go. I don't know what he said. I don't care. I've got the new shield and another antique lamp, which is going straight on Herblore. Another 50,000 XP right there. Very nice. That is now three diaries completed. Let's see if we need to do another diary or if we can go back to TOA. Okay, this diary done. That should be 45% in the elite tier. 5% until we're halfway in the final tier. That's looking nice. Here we go. Let's generate another task. Ooh, another unique drop from God Wars Dungeon. Wow. I guess in theory, I should maybe do some Armadil to, you know, potentially get the helm there. But at the same time, I just don't really feel like doing Armadil. So maybe I'll be doing Bandos again, but with the Bofa this time around to try and get the Tessets or the BCP. That would also be really nice, actually. So I think that's probably the plan. We're gonna postpone Armadil as much as possible, I think, because I just don't really like it there. We'll get that Bandos Bofa method down in the next episode. And let me just tell you already, the next episode will be an absolute banger that you do not want to miss out on. So if you're not subscribed yet, you need to do that right now. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to leave a like and comment. And I'll talk to you all soon in the next one. Until then, have a good one and take care.